Going to be working on the excavator today. This cylinder right here is leaking. And that's why I got it parked in this funny position so that I could have more access to the cylinder under here because that's it right there. And here's where this end of it mounts. And the uh, hose, the hydraulic hose, is up on top of it up there. Clean that up and check it for wear. Now once I get the cylinder loose on the inside underneath, then I can just pull the thing out this way. Well, I can't reach on top to knock that down, so I'm going to have to drive something under it and pry it down. Let's see if the screwdriver will do it. Not yet. I can't hammer too hard on a plastic handle screwdriver. It's not doing anything with a, a hard chisel and a hammer. Um, I am getting a little bit of a gap that uh, the screwdriver fits in better, but there's no gap over here yet, so I think I'm probably just bending this a little bit. So I think the next step is I'm going to get something and try to turn this. Because you know this ear over here has got a hole in it that bolts the thing to the bottom to hold it on. And um, the bolt's out so this thing should be able to turn. So I'm going to whack it a few more times here. And then, uh, then I'll go and grab something. I think I'm going to get a pipe wrench. I think I might be able to get a bite on this with a pipe wrench and turn it. Twist this thing left and right. Maybe we can break something loose then. I don't have the best aim with a hammer, so I can't really take a real hard swing with it because I'll hit my hand.
I don't see any movement yet. Let me get that pipe wrench. This is really tight. I can't do it from underneath. Pushing as hard as I can from underneath. And I don't have much of a bite because that part is not very thick. I'm going to come out here and try from out here. And it's still not moving for me. And I'm scared to push too hard because I don't have a lot of a bite there. I might hurt myself if that uh, wrench comes off of there. I might have to have help. I might have to have someone else outside with a cheater pipe to hold on to it. But I don't have anyone else. Looks like there's a change of plans. Went up to Bobcat and talked to the guys in the shop and uh, they told me <clears throat> see if I can just change this seal kit on the machine without taking that cylinder off because um, of that pin being seized up. They said that's what they do when they can't get one out. They just leave it in there and um, just change the the seal kit in in the cylinder um, while it's on the machine so but one thing I do not have is a wrench a spanner wrench to uh, to go I think that's what they call it span I don't know anyway these holes here this one and that one there there's a big wrench goes on there kind of like the, the wrench that goes on a little four inch grinder um, I might be able to grab the outside of that with a a um, pipe wrench. It looks like I am going to have to try to do this with a pipe wrench because um, well, with this corona thing going on, that's when this video is being done with this corona virus thing. It's going to take a week minimum to get one through Amazon to buy a spanner wrench set. So I looked at the local tool stores, Harbor Freight and Northern Tools, and none of them have it. So um, we'll try to do it with the pipe wrench. tight but it's moving
got that off of there and I wish I could take this end off because this is the only end that's really leaking the inside is not leaking and if it was it doesn't matter it wouldn't be leaking much but I have to pull that cylinder out or that piston's got to come out of there so I can get this thing off and change these seals in it because I can't pull this thing off on this end wish I could though Well, the O-rings on this end are pretty obvious, but I got to change there. Pretty simple in this outer seal, but I don't know what's inside that seal. There might be another one in there. I have not done this before. This is going to be a learning experience for me. Well, let me see if I can pull that out of there. afraid of that. If I do pull it out it's going to come out fast and the wall's going to fly everywhere. Well, got to get it out and I can't get to the hose in the back to relieve the pressure or let air in it so here it goes. Oh. Wasn't too bad. At least it went in the oil pan. That's a big nut in there. Probably put the same one back on it. I don't know. Let's see. Well, I think I've identified uh, most of the parts here. These O-rings up here. Can't see this thing. Okay, these O-rings that are on this part here. I found all of those and I found this one uh, there is one like it in here then these other smaller ones here I believe are gonna go inside there so the kit does look like it's gonna be about the right size I think so I'm gonna find a I'm going to find a socket to fit that. Turns out to be, um, I forgot, I think it's 1 and 11, one and 11 sixteenths fits that. I have to wipe that out a little bit, but that is not a two-piece piston, so I don't know how this ring goes on and off there. Maybe it does stretch enough to get off of there. Tempted to just leave it in there since I wasn't having trouble with that anyway. Apparently it stretches enough, but am I going to get this thing back together? There must be a chamfer on the top of the bore to let this in there. I'm slow because I don't know what I'm doing. This is new to me. I never did one of these cylinders. The most important part is this one here. Go ahead and change these.
This one just comes apart. This one's the seal is just totally rotten. One inside here. Let's see if we got one like that in there, yeah. Yeah, I got one like that. Don't know for sure how to get that out, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reach in here with a pick and damage it. Because that's the only way to get it out. Look at that. It's brittle too. Okay, I'm going to wash this piece up and put it back together. <clears throat> and I'm going to snap a picture with my phone so I remember um, how these seals were. This O-ring is, is towards that way, towards the inside and this orange ring here behind it but I'm going to snap a picture with my phone so I don't forget and then I'm going to wash this thing up and change those seals I already did it on this side as much as I could but um, in, inside here where this one is there's still more corrosion in there and I got kind of a a small narrow bladed screwdriver with a fairly sharp tip on it and I'm just kind of using that to scrape the corrosion off. <clears throat> 